Hey everyone, today I actually wanted to give you a demo on using inferences. For this demo, I've chosen to analyze Bitcoin data. So let's start by going to investing.com and first we'll click on the date, specifically January 1st, and then we'll hit the download button to get the full year's data. After that, we'll head over to the inferences platform. There, we'll select the option to create a new project and upload the CSV file we just downloaded. Once the CSV is uploaded, we'll give it a moment to generate the dashboard. I'll speed up that part so you don't have to wait. It takes around 15 minutes for the full dashboard to be generated, including detailed individual category analysis, which is amazing for historical Bitcoin data because it enables true cross-category intelligence and ensures that no analytical angle is left unexplored. It should almost be finishing now. Now that the dashboard is ready, let's walk through it one by one. Here you can see the critical anomaly section, where the system highlights high-impact market events such as sharp declines, breakout rallies, capitulation phases, and failed rallies. Each event is classified by date, price, volatility, percentage change, and overall market impact, allowing us to quickly identify periods of extreme instability. Below that, the dashboard breaks the market into clearly defined phases, showing how Bitcoin moved through early rallies, volatile transitions, and consolidation zones. What stands out here is the volatility distribution. A large portion of days fall into medium to high volatility, reinforcing that this market is not stable, but operating in a state of controlled chaos. As we move further down, the price and volatility evolution chart makes these regime shifts visually obvious, while the volatile transition zones analysis confirms persistent indecision, rapid direction changes, and short-lived trends. This is powerful insight because it shows not just what happened, but how the market behaved structurally I'll let you explore the rest of the categories yourself by making this dashboard public. Now, let's ask the AI what 2026 might look like. And the big question, should we be buying now? After running the full analysis, the AI highlights a clear theme. Explosive market moves in 2025 were heavily skewed to the downside. From a data-driven perspective, this makes aggressive trend-following strategies riskier, while emphasizing the importance of patience and confirmation. Based on this analysis, the AI leans cautious when looking ahead to 2026, highlighting elevated downside risk and advising careful positioning rather than emotional entries. I'll let you explore the full AI breakdown yourself now that the dashboard is public. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.